G- it, we 54 minutes. We yeah. just been talking. R A O P. We didn't do no talking. But in, in R A O P. But we'll, we'll, we'll run some. Sh- we'll run through some shit. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Let's do voicemail. To send in voicemail. Send us up at four two four two six zero R A O P. That's four two four two six zero R A O P. Now somebody was blowing the line up while we was talking, so I don't know if they actually left something. Probably was banks. I'm curious to hear what the fuck. Definitely was It might be some stand. bullshit. Yo, what up? This is uh, Frankie from Los Angeles. Oh, that Frankie gone. So this past weekend, we had the Rolling Loud Fest out here. I met him. I just that. want to know if um, you guys had your own music festival. What would your lineup be looking like? So let me get um, two headliners and three opening acts, dead or alive, for Amber, Amber Palooza and Joe Challis. So dead or alive. Two opening acts and three, uh, no, I'm sorry, my bad. Two opening, two headliners, three opening acts. You know, forgot what he said. All right, man. Thanks. Peace. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, Ample, Ample, Ample Palooza is insane. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ample Palooza was nuts. <laughs> Let's do it. Not, that means we got to do it. What was right. the Joe one? Uh, Joe, Joe Chella. Joe, Joe, Joe Chella. Chella. That, that, that wasn't bad. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Uh, so two headliners. Three opening acts and it could be dead or alive. To our music festivals, fuck. That's that's a good one. Cause it's like, damn, what I want to do R and B? I want to do rap. I would do a mixture. Me personally, I would do yeah. a mixture. Mm-hmm. Fuck. That's kind of tough. Uh, Marvin Gaye and Future for me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> why, why you say that? Marvin Gaye and Future. Yeah. Well, let me see if we got the same theory. For one, it was very both both of them niggas are the right level of toxicity. Because after that story I heard about Marvin Gaye today mm-hmm. on the internet with his uh, the woman he was dealing with after the like, Hear My his, Dear album. Was it the Hear My Dear My album? It was right after Let's Get It On. What album was that on? So that, was, talking, the, that I, was the young chick. Hear My Dear was um, <clears throat> Barry Gordy. Sister, yeah, Barry Gordy yeah. or his daughter. Yeah. Was yeah. It, his it was, daughter his, it, was his his do- it was his sister. That was their niece. You talking about the one he had a kid with? Yeah, yeah. That was and his they sister. made they, that was fucked up, bro. That yeah. whole story is crazy. Yeah, he had a um kid with like Barry Barry Gordy niece, and then give a and he damn. Made, and he made the Anna chick uh raise the raise the girl. Yeah, and then he uh also like pretty much pimped her out to uh. Not not Freddie Mercury, but Frankie, uh, Beverly? Frankie Beverly. No, that was his, that was the young chick. He was that's there. what I'm talking about. The one the one he got with after. Yeah, that old was girl. Yeah. He was he slutted oh, her out see, a lot. I didn't but know then, about that. But then then niggas ruining my legend. Then the funniest part is mm-hmm. she didn't know, she didn't want to do it at first, but then she ended up fucking with Frankie Beverly, Beverly on her own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> after the fact, yeah. That's hey. I thought you at first when you said Frankie Beverly, I thought you were talking about Frankie Lime, and I was like, goodness hey, gracious. Why you know? thinking? Why you thinking there been no Marvin Gaye movie yet? Nah, he was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Marvin Gaye. Was like Frankie Beverly and Maze fuck on his wife. He was a cuckoo. Yeah, he was, mm. he was a cuckoo. Cuck, cuck, and Maze. Cuck. Yeah, and Maze. And Maze. And and he was like, hey, y'all boys can have some yeah. too. Yeah, nah, bro. he was. Uh, he was definitely at you. Marvin Diddy is crazy. <laughs> y'all ever heard a song called? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was almost there. He was having. He wasn't freak-offs. quite there, but he was. He was in. The, he was like in the, in the ballpark. Mm. Uh, y'all, y'all ever heard to hear my dear album? Yeah, nah. that's, I love that. He album. got a song called uh, "I Met a Little Girl." Yeah. It's about the, meeting the girl at like 14. Bro. Yeah. That, I was like, bro, this nigga is nasty. So, though. the reason why I said that, though, was because I, I mean, compare, music-wise, I don't know about the other shit. Yeah, I compare Marvin Gaye <laughs> to Future all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I feel like he like, because he was real toxic, made great yeah. music and shit. Yeah, definitely toxic. But to hear my dear album, the story behind that is, he was divorcing who I think is... um Anna. Anna, Anna yeah, Gordy, he was yeah. divorcing her, and she wanted money, and he was like... Well, the next album they was going back and forth about this shit. He was like, "Well, the next album that I make, you can get the royalties off that." Yeah, and he dropped that shit, and the shit yeah, is he, about their relationship. And, and the whole reason why he had a bad relationship with the other chick that he left her for or was cheating on her with was because he was paying all his money, like because of the divorce yeah, and yeah, alimony yeah. and shit. Yeah. So he was going broke yeah. while making that album. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, time, I, I, I studied that here, my dear album. So I know a lot on that shit. Yeah, so studied it. That so nigga it's said like that on the cover, it. it's like her hand, yeah. and that shit like look like a damn monkey paw. Yeah, yeah. And it's like grabbing his money. <laughs> yeah, hey, can you put it on the screen? 
That, oh yeah, yeah, I put it up. And that nigga got a song. He said that he said that she told him you can't leave, but it's going to cost you. I was like this nigga. Is and sick. he wasn't lying because it no. literally cost that nigga because yeah. that that's where most of his royalties and shit went. Like you yeah, said, yeah, no, he gave he gave her the royalties, but he could say, but yeah, bitch, I'm gonna shit on you on this album, and I'm gonna talk about our relationship and me cheating. Yep, yeah. and he was beefing with Teddy Pendergrass at the time. So that's kind of crazy. That's kind that's that's, <laughs> that's kind of pedo. He like you know what I'm saying? Like oh yeah, you can have this album. I want, but bitch, you gonna hate that you making money off this album exactly because this shit finna bring you so much pain. I, I have no idea what happened to in, to either one of those women after the shout uh, out to Teddy Pendergrass, man. That's my that's yeah. my guy. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's the back. Yeah, I see it. That mm-hmm. shit look crazy. Yeah, that's my shit. It's like they playing Monopoly. Yeah. It's like you see what they <laughs> like judgment. <laughs> yeah. She's taking on that shit. Oh but that nigga God. Marvin Gaye, that nigga was like broke too. That like after that album, that nigga had to like he took one of his sons and that nigga was living like in a, a trailer. Like mm. not a not a house trailer. Like yeah. a truck trailer. Damn, so his dad knocking him off did him a favor. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, technically, yeah. Because apparently, they said the nigga said um, when he shot him, he would Marvin Gaye, like last words, was like, you did something I didn't, I want, I couldn't do or some shit like that. Yeah. Like he kind of like egged his daddy on to like shoot mm. him. Hey, we never get that Marvin wanted, Gaye movie, bro. We wanted to die. <laughs> we never get that Marvin Gaye. Hey, we just got that Bob Marley movie. <laughs> it's a random I ain't shit. I see that shit. You see it yet? Oh, damn. That shit was good. Yeah, I have, Bar- matter of fact, I have Bob Marley in my shit too, bro. Yeah. You gotta, I feel like if dead or alive, I feel like you gotta probably like open with like <laughs> Biggie, Biggie and Tupac. Mm. <laughs> That's just crazy, but Biggie and Tupac, and then you kind of got to three headliners. I go Marvin, mm. then I have Bob come on, and I'm mm. ending that shit with Michael Jackson. God damn it! I was just, I was like, I yeah. hope this nigga don't say Michael Jackson. Yeah, ending that shit Fuck. with Michael Jackson. <laughs> That'd be tough. Headliner, I'm going Michael Jackson at Prince. Ooh, I okay. forgot about that Prince. alone. Them tickets gonna be about six thousand dollars. And this may sound crazy. You gonna say Elvis. I gotta have nah, nah, I ain't gonna have no Yakubs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. She don't. I don't know if she belong, but I'm gonna have Summer Walker there. Fuck it. How the fuck would she belong? I ain't gonna lie. She don't belong. I just have it turn up. Nice opening that. Yeah, that's a good opening right. too. And she good. She good life. <clears throat> she good life. Get the, get the women out there. All right, so. well, if you're going to have her, I'm going to have Susan. Because I know yeah. she's going to bring the crowds in even if she don't sing. Oh, no. Nah, fuck that. I got to stay on brand. We're going to take out who I said, Marvin. Marvin. Yeah, after that shit, you just told me about the, the young hoes and shit. <laughs> shit I love you, Marvin, but I'm going to listen to you in the crib. Like, okay, man. <laughs> we gonna look, we not paying Marvin for that one. <laughs> we going to... I got to stay on brand. We going to have Pac and Big. Mm. I thought you were, Yeah, we'll have Pac and Big. It's cool. And then, because I'm trying to make the most money. And then we gonna have uh, who I said we gonna have Bob Marley. Then we gonna have Michael Jackson. And then the biggest hairliner of them all, we gonna have Ice Spice. <laughs> How the fuck you, you? Okay, so I'm about to say get all the make all the money while you can, and then bring Ice Spice. Oh no, nah, she, she gonna bring everybody. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. For sure, so, for sure. so you had uh, Big and Pop, Bob Marley. Uh, Michael Jackson, oh, yeah, Ice, Spice. Ice Spice. That's fine. And you had, I had Prince, Prince uh, Mike, Prince Mike, Mike uh, Summer, Summer. I'm gonna do Usher, Usher. And, um, I need a rapper. It's gonna be a current rapper. You said Future. I'm gonna do Young Thug. Okay. okay. You got four zesty niggas. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> Niggas gonna say it like it's Zest Fest. Yeah, it's gonna be Zest Fest. <laughs> Zest Fest. It. Just throwing someone walk out and seeing like a curveball though. That's mm-hmm. crazy. But yeah. I, I ride with it. I, I, I can't I'm help it. I love Summer Walker, bro. I'm in love with that bitch too. Yeah, shout out to Summer. What's yours, Devin? You did yours? Yeah. Oh, easy. I, I know I know how to make I know how to make shows, bro. Like easy. Michael Jackson, Prince, Bob Marley, Future, and uh Susan. So you taking Barbara Gay off? Yeah, I'm taking definitely. <laughs> yeah. Oh niggas ain't Super fucking with Marvin. Marvin. Nah, 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 he right. bad for business. Yeah, he bad. <laughs> like maybe if I threw like a little yeah. local shit, yeah, like he when niggas don't business. too many niggas don't know that story that I saw today. Damn, niggas turning their back on Marvin. That's crazy. Definitely. Like he turns his back Fuck on the dead. I'm gonna have Robin Pick pull up and perform all his songs. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cannon before I have Marvin Gaye. Marvin fuck Gaye that, family nigga. gonna nuke that fucking right. They gonna sue the fuck out of you. Right. You might well just invite them. Nigga said he gonna have <laughs> nigga said he gonna have Robin Thicke and Ed Sheeran. Performing <laughs> <laughs> Marvin so, It's funny. My, my brother said that shit. He was like, yeah, when, when the Super Bowl come, Wayne should bring out like Robin Thicke and just had a nigga just perform that fucking uh, Blurred Line song that they sued that nigga for. Like, fuck it. 
That nigga don't want that dead that shit. His life been in shambles since he cheated on Paula Patton. <laughs> That shit, all that shit happened the same year, didn't it? Like, he cheated and they, they hit him with the blurred line shit. Right. The blurred the lines time. lawsuit. Yeah, nigga and like then he did this shit. And then his daddy died after that? Then his yeah. daddy died after that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then he did that shit on, on stage with uh, Miley. Oh, oh yeah. I yeah. tried to forget that. I tried to forget and that. And that nigga was had on a Beetlejuice suit. Yeah, and that's when she was <laughs> dancing on the balloon dicks, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah it was. Nah, that, was crazy. that nigga was just on a landslide. Cause first, <laughs> first what happened was when he was... He they had that picture and he was like sticking his hand up the girl coochie. Oh yeah, and you could see it in the mirror. They were like, "Bro, you tripping?" Then his wife left him. Then his daddy died. Then the Molly shit. Yeah. Then he got sued. I was like, "Bro, you." But know. see, Paula Patton. See, like they might be like, um, like Hancock and the white and uh, the white bitch. Um, they supposed to be together because she ain't been Paula Patton. Since, That's what I'm saying. Like she ain't been popping and shit since. The yeah, whole she not she not even bad no more like that. She cut her hair. Yeah. She turned that shit blonde. I she, have not seen. What she, she like a white. Like she like a white woman now. Like she look like it, it just. She let her white side take over. Yeah, oh, it, it got man. bad. Bro. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Yeah, Damn. but but yeah, come think of. It, I haven't really seen Paula do anything since nah. the divorce. She be like cooking or some shit on Instagram what? or some shit. Nah, nah. She ain't naked. Nobody asked see. for that. Yeah, I don't. She see. was like. A uh, prime colored at one point. Yeah. Prime colored. <laughs> yeah. You can say that now. Yeah. Twenty twenty four. Bring it back. Oh, colored. Man, that's funny. Yeah. From now on, I'm calling mixed people colored. Shout out to Tyler. I don't see what the issue is. That is a color. Like it's colored. Like what's the point? Colored. 